Today on Small Arms Firearms, we start a brand new format that I'm gonna run throughout the year on certain products called Five and Five. Today's new format of five and five is gonna be a little longer than I plan on it being in the future. We're gonna try and run this format for the rest of the year and see if anybody likes it. It's gonna be five things about a product in under five minutes. And what that means is some of those things could be positives. We're gonna start with the most important in my mind on the product and work our way down to the least important of those five points on a product. Any of those could be good or bad, but I'm going to list them in most important. So you get a better understanding of what's good and what's bad, but they'll be weighted. Some things can be really bad for a product and you just wanna avoid it, whereas maybe there's more good things above the bad things, but they're gonna be listed in that order is what I think is most important to least important. And the first product we're looking at on the five and five is going to be from Comfort Concealment. This is something that I've always been chasing after and it's a concealment belt that allows you to carry while you're wearing sweatpants or gym shorts, whatever you want to call it. And I think they've kind of nailed it with this one. This is a soft neoprene belt that's designed to go around your waist, your midriff, wherever you need it to be. And it's an EDC carry belt. It's obviously very soft. Number one point about this is it is super comfortable. Similar to like a belly band, this belly band actually covers a little more, it's a little tighter, but the belly band only has a small section for you to put your holster on so if you carry a bigger holster, can't do it. Nothing with a sidecar. This one acts just like a regular EDC belt. It is super comfortable. I've been wearing it around all day today with just sweatpants on and this super lightweight summer kind of t-shirt, quick drying t-shirt. It works phenomenal for all day comfort. I can't say that enough about comfort wise how good this really is. The only stretchy part is this right here behind the logo and it has a fairly large Velcro area on it. So as far as comfort goes, this thing knocks it out of the park. Number two about this is it lets you carry in anything. Whether you're wearing that Speedo to the pool and you got a shirt on, you can carry with this. this the belt will go around your midriff if you want it that high or around your hips. Wherever you want it is where it can attach to. On the website, you tell them how long you want it to be and you need to make sure you measure that spot with like a tailor's tape so you know exactly what you need size. And like I said in the first point, it allows you to carry any size holster as it'll fit one and a half inch clips anywhere around the belt at any size of that holster you wanna carry. And it works fantastic with the built-in wings, claws, or whatever you wanna call it, depending on what kind of holster you have. Now number three, it is not stiff. It is not like a normal gun belt. It folds right in on itself. It's just made out of neoprene, that's it. It's really flimsy. I mean, it comes rolled up in a ball. With that being said, some people were saying that they were having issues with this neoprene inside slipping up on them when they go to draw or when they're running. I have drawn from this thing dozens and dozens of times dry fire practicing down here and I have not had that issue once. The silicone on this is gripping onto my pants very well to where the belt's not slight or it's not causing my pants to fall down when I'm pulling up. It's working for me, but it is flimsy. Number four, the price on this is $38. Right now, as I'm doing this video, some of the sizes are sold out. Um, I think it's a phenomenal price to where if it is gonna fall apart on you, you just buy another one in two years. I don't know how long it'll last because this is just neoprene stitching. There's nothing really reinforcing it. It's not made out of what seems to be really, really sturdy materials, especially for holsters that have metal clips on them. I don't know how long this will last. I'll give you guys an update if the Velcro starts to fail, but so far after using it for about a week and a half, it's phenomenal. And number five, it might not seem like a big deal, but on the outside of the belt, it's lined with silicone. And what that does is when you wrap it around your midriff or your hips, it allows those gym shorts right on the edge of them to stay put onto the belt. So 
when you pull and draw, the whole belt's not coming up and your pants aren't falling down. It keeps those gym shorts stuck to the belt so they don't start to slide down and then your belt kind of slowly go up. I find that it works great. Again, been wearing it for the last about week and a half and it keeps together where I've set it.